Welcome back to Rose Education. This is Zed. Today I'm going to be talking about BRTXQ. This is recommended from uh, my followers on Twitter and subscribers on YouTube multiple times over. And so I'll definitely cave in and give you this OTC. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm not a fan of OTCs just because of their high volatility and the way they have to raise funds. Moving over, I'm going to go through technical analysis, anything you can find about this company. And it's a little bit tricky to try to find it because uh, SEC filings are really behind. And I'm going to be referring to their Chapter 11 filing. Let's jump right into it. So on a one week perspective, we I couldn't get much going on because um, it all looked around all the place. I couldn't find any terms of technicals. So I'm just going to mention that the MACD looks like it's quite stable here, almost curving down a little, basically stabilizing at this point, and the ADX shows in a potential of a strong trend. Taking a quick look into, let's say, an MACD here, we get to see on a one day that we're seeing a positive reversal, moving averages look bullish, ADX the potential of a trend forming, William percent R puts this one closer to overbought, although volume has been declining and that's usually a dangerous sign. Once we get high volume, low volume, that's a dangerous sign here. Now, one hour perspective, it's really important one hour perspective for the OTC is to determine the next few hours. Then the trading action zone where reversals are likely. It's above the 50 SMA, so it's bullish. ADX shows in a strong trend that it was on through, uh, from the day before towards today. And MACD looks like it's gonna hit a negative reversal. So taking a quick look into the moving averages, we don't get to see much except, except 0 0.015 is the bottom of the band, 17 middle of the band and 19 is in the top of the band. Stochastic fast and slow shows in that there still has a little bit more push to go. You get to see it hasn't hit the top yet, but when we look at the percent K, it looks like it might be following there. But we're gonna look into the slow and the percent D fast, it looks like it still has another leg. Taking a quick look into Fibonacci retracements, this is going to be a little bit fun with these ones. 44 cents going all the way down, or at 0 0.02, uh, almost 215 as a Fibonacci support. 0 0.028 almost is another resistance of the current time being, and a 0 0.035. Now we're going to look at significant supports and resistances. Significant support or significant resistance lies at the 0.28 line. Below that, we're looking into support somewhere sitting down at the 22 cent mark, followed by that by the 20 0.02 cent mark. And then below that, we're looking at the 0.14. Resistances, we can look after hitting the 0.32 and breaking that, we can see higher ups um, almost all the way back to 0 0.038 0 .038. you can hear my tongue twisting because i'm not used to these small numbers but please hang on with me let's take a quick look into the latest se filings now on the latest se filings at least what i could find was all the way back in january so i went on their website and try to basically find anything i could find first things that i could find was about their bankruptcy well it's no hidden thing that they have bankruptcy going. I read through this. It took me a while. I'm not going to lie. It took me quite a little. And nothing significant seems to be for me here other than their plans for Chapter 11. They're uh, basically the way that they're going to be constructing back the company, trying to get another fresh start. I couldn't find anything that basically gives me a massive red flag. Now, with the ODC and a Chapter 11, first I want to talk about what a Chapter 11 is, just in case you're wondering. There's a little bit of confusion between Chapter 11 and Chapter 7, and uh, as well Chapter, I believe, 13 as well. So what I'm going to be talking about here is what Chapter 11 is, just to give you an idea on what you're investing in. Chapter 11 is a form of bankruptcy that involves a reorganization of debtor, business affairs, debts, assets, and for the reasons known as reorganization bankrupt. Named after the US Bankruptcy Code 11, corporate generally file Chapter 11 if they require time to construct their debt. The version of the bankruptcy gives the debtor a fresh start, however, the terms are subject to the debtor's fulfillment obligations under the plan of reorganization. Chapter 11 bankruptcy is the most complex of all bankruptcy cases, also usually the most expensive form of bankruptcy proceeding. For those reasons, 
a company might consider must consider chapter 11 reorganization only after careful analysis and exploration of all other possible alternatives so taking a quick look into that we can get to see that chapter 11 is not an easy route and there's a lot of things i'm going to go through the key takeaways is that if a company filing for chapter 11 opts out to propose a reorganization plan it must be in the best interest of the creditors if the debtor does not suggest the program the creditor may propose one instead and so what do we expect from brt xq we can go on back and forth on all the different things back into the se filings but it's a bankruptcy play and it's going to be a couple of things happening one when is the judge going to basically approve it now from what i've seen online uh, i don't have access to i didn't reach out to their attorney i don't have access towards that information but from what i've seen online from what looks like to be fine sources uh, that we're supposed to hear something by Wednesday. And I expect if we don't hear anything by Wednesday, it's probably gonna drop. And it looks like the approval for chapter 11 is on the way. And so this one probably would have future. Now the question is, how are they gonna come back on? OTCs cannot really get massive funding, like public funding, right? You're gonna have to do public offering or private offering. So they're gonna sell more shares. So this one, with reorganization at this level, you can throw out at it like a thousand dollars. And maybe, you know, maybe that thousand dollars becomes 30,000 in 10 years if they actually succeed. Or you know what? Maybe after a while they pull a Kodak um, and they completely change their entire pro uh, business later on down the road. Remember, Kodak was actually bankrupt at some point. I believe chapter 11 as well. Now, this one is probably going to dilute. It's probably going to pay its debt. It's, uh, it's going to probably pay its debts and loans probably buy additional shares so it's a high risk but it's a massive reward that's my opinion on it i don't have exact filings and i didn't want to make a video for this one for a long time just because i don't understand bankruptcy plays very much because my type of investment is value investing now this one does has does have assets it does have a pipeline before for pharmaceutical and it has a potential chapter 11 it looks promising onto this one but massive risk now the looks from it is that the judge will accept it once that news comes in officially it will come in um, from positive results and you can see it rally now how long is it gonna go from pink sheets to Nasdaq it's gonna take a bunch of offerings probably a reverse split and you're gonna be beaten up so be careful with your investment and make sure you're vigilant but perhaps five years ahead I would love to go back and revisit this one and see it at probably four or five dollars. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. Have a wonderful day.